Hi, I'm Allie Miriam. It's Thursday, March 8th, and here are the stories hottest on Pop Sugar right now. We have a good look at Michael Douglas and Matt Damon underneath makeup, prosthetics, and sparkly costumes done up as Liberace and his lover Scott Thorsten on the cover of the new Entertainment Weekly. The duo star in a forthcoming HBO project from director Steven Soderbergh called Behind the Candelabra, which airs on May 26th. The issue, which features Matt hilariously talking about getting spray tans and filming some sex scenes, is on newsstands tomorrow. Prince Harry is keeping busy during a break from his work with the Royal Air Force. He was recently in Africa on behalf of his charity Centibale, and now he's linking up with an organization long associated with his mother, Princess Diana. He's taking on a task of raising funds in honor of the 25th anniversary of the Halo Trust, a charity Diana worked with which works to get rid of landmines. Time Warner sought to sell their struggling magazine business, which includes titles Time, People, In Style, and more, to competitor Meredith Corporation. But after talks between the two broke down, Time Warner announced last night that they're spinning off their magazine unit into an independent, publicly traded company. It was welcome news to Time Warner, Warner owners. The company's stock price this morning was trading at its highest value in years. And Kate Moss just showed her stuff on the runway at the Louis Vuitton show in Paris, and she may be lining up another high-profile gig. Recent reports from Now This News suggest that Kate is about to sign on to cover the 60th anniversary edition of Playboy, which will be out in January 2014. The shoot, though, will reportedly take place in London this week. And today's top story is all about Jessica Simpson. The pregnant star has not been shy about discussing her second pregnancy, and last night swung by Jimmy Kimmel Live for her latest candid interview. She made what she later called an accidental announcement. I've oh. been vomiting and oh. yeah. yeah. I just the crazy thing is I, I never knew that a wiener could actually make me nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Wait a minute. What did you intend to say there? Well, I guess I just <laughs> told them the world that I'm having a boy. <laughs> Jessica surprised even herself by confirming the rumors that she and fiancé Eric Johnson will welcome a son later this year. They'll expand their family, which of course includes their almost one-year-old daughter, Maxwell. Now, Jessica didn't confirm if they'll name the new baby Ace as rumored, but she did talk about what's delaying her and Eric's marriage since they're still unwed despite getting engaged in November of 2010. Now, you're not married yet, right? I am not. Are you planning to get married soon? I keep planning on getting married, but I keep getting knocked up, so. <laughs> um, it's just one of those things. Maybe yeah. I should go back to when I was younger. I was a virgin before I was married, so maybe I should just completely reverse and just stop having sex altogether until Eric and I actually say I do. You really did. You do have it all <laughs> backwards completely in every way. Jessica also told Jimmy that she might be done with kids at two because this most recent pregnancy has been a bit difficult. Jessica is making the talk show rounds to chat up the second season of Fashion Star. And this week she also fit in a visit to the Ellen DeGeneres show where she was quotable as always discussing exactly how her second pregnancy is different than the first. But one thing is certainly the same. The first pregnancy I like let loose and I kind of ate everything that I wanted to eat and I just really enjoyed it. This time around I think because I was doing Weight Watchers and I felt super healthy, I just, I'm not really craving as much and I know how hard it is to get off, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to make healthier, wiser decisions. Uh -huh. Well that's good. But apparently Eric still wanted me, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Jess. We'll get to see a lot more of Jessica back in action on Fashion Star when the second season debuts tomorrow night on NBC at 8 p.m. I'm Allie Merriam. Thanks for watching.